again, my name's Gabe Zolano. This is the 16th of February, 2019. Just read an interesting article posted by Fox News, written by Andrew O'Reilly. That's capital O, apostrophe, capital R-E-I-L-L-Y of Fox News. This was published on the 15th of February, 2019. Title, Los Angeles City Council passes ordinance requiring contractors to disclose ties with NRA. How different is this than when Nazi Germany made Jews wear the Star of David so they could be readily and easily identified and persecuted? Hmm? Is there any difference? State proposed gun bill will check your social media accounts before granting you a firearm license. In a unanimous decision, the Los Angeles City Council on Tuesday passed an ordinance that requires companies who do work with the city to disclose if they have any ties to the National Rifle Association. The ordinance, which follows similar ones passed by the council requiring contractors to disclose any involvement in a construction of President Trump's proposed border wall and any past investments in or profits from slavery. <laughs> well, wait a minute now. Wasn't it the KKK that had the Ku Klux Klan and the Jim Crow laws? Hmm? And who profited from slavery? Huh? has already drawn protests from gun rights activists and threats of a lawsuit. Quote, Politicians are free to disagree with the NRA's pro-freedom, firearm safety, and self-reliance message, but they aren't free to censor it. Well, didn't they censor it when they had credit card companies stop doing business with companies that sold or manufactured weapons? Hmm? As this would do when NRA supporters drop their NRA membership for fear of losing their livelihood from being on the blacklist. NRA attorney Chuck Michael told the Los Angeles Times, This is modern day McCarthyism, and my clients are confident no judge will let it stand. Really? How about those left wing fag judges in Northern California? that went against the proposition that was signed by California residents not to allow gay marriage. Huh? You get one of these whacked out left-wing judges, all hell's going to break loose. According to a letter sent earlier this month to the city, the NRA plans to file suit against the city, arguing that the ordinance violates the First Amendment. You think they care? The First Amendment's under solid attack. That's why I was taken off of BoopTube. That's why GoFundMe and PayPal shut my accounts down. They don't like my conservative political position. An unconstitutional effort to restrict and chill an individual's rights to associate and express their political beliefs. Well, what about my political beliefs, huh? The law does offer a number of exemptions, such as one relating to the city's pension funds and other investment arguments. Los Angeles City Council member Mitch O'Farrell spearheaded the effort to pass the legislation. You think he's a left winger? Which still awaits Mayor Eric Garcetti's signature. You don't think he's going to sign it? Of course he's going to sign it. For the sake of transparency, the city residents and stakeholders deserve to know how the city public funds are being spent and whether taxpayer funds are being spent on contractors that have contractual or sponsorship ties to the NRA, the motion states, according to CBS News. The ordinance comes on the heels of a number of gun measures taken up by the city council. In August, a motion was introduced making it a misdemeanor offense in the city to possess, download, or distribute a blueprint for 3D firearms in the city of LA. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to stop, folks. And like I said, how different is this when the Nazis made Jews wear a star of David 
so they can be readily identified. And once identified, they get persecuted, prosecuted, and sent to the ovens in Auschwitz, Dachau, and a whole lot of other concentration camps. You think this is any different? Huh? Any company that's in business that has a relationship with the NRA would be blacklisted. Totally insane. It ain't going to get any better, folks. I'm a perfect example of that. They've taken away my First Amendment rights, and they're working on taking away all of our Second Amendment rights. They can't do what they want to do to us as long as we have access to our weapons. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends, ask them to do the same. Without the Second Amendment, they'll all evaporate. You think not? Think what you like. I do.